We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. Coming to the plate now, Tim Anderson. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First delivery to him on the way. Ball and that misses nine. ball one. First pick. Seven o'clock. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. Now the pitch. Well, the Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Pops this one up. Santana in foul ground. And no one will get this one. The 2 2. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. High in the air out to center field. Mercado is there and he has it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Savali has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. In there at the knees, strike one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The third baseman. Now the pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. Two and two. <laughs> hit hard towards center. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Batting second. The center field. Oh, God. Mercado. At the plate, Oscar Mercado as he lines it out to center. Robert is right there, one down. Digging in, Francisco Lindor. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Francisco Lindor. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, that's off the plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Oh. 
That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. And again, a throw, a dive, but he's back. Now the payoff pitch home. Runner goes for second, but he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Ramirez on second. Lindor is over at first with one away. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's 2 and 2 now. Full count, 3 and 2 to the Indians' DH. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That is good. So two on that with two three. away, and that'll oh, bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. In the air now, out to right field. Mazzara will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. At the plate, Yosmani Grandal. He'll get us started in the top of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. That is fair. The designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion now. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And 0 and 2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. And that's the first down. Now at the plate, Eloy Jimenez. That is it. The left fielder. Eloy Jimenez. From the stretch. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. Hernandez at second, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. And now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one.
in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Hit down the third baseline. The 0 2 once more. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Ready to deliver the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. One and two, here it comes. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he struck him out. A ten pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Stepping up to the plate, Jordan Luplo. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Jordan Luplo. First pitch of the at bat. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Jump and go. In now, Domingo Santana. Now a swing as he foul tips it here, and oh, right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A runner at first with no outs here. Struck him out. Stepping up now, Cesar Hernandez. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the belt, kicks and deals. Liner towards second, but this is hauled in by the second baseman. And now a throw to first, and they got him. Never really had a chance with the hit and run on as he gets doubled up on the line drive. At the plate, Luis Robert. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Swing and a line drive. And this will get over his outstretched glove. A great effort there, but it's a base hit. That is nice. Into the box, Leori Garcia as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. Tag is there by Hernandez, and he's out at second base. Third inning, no score to this point. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Standing in, Tim Anderson. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. In a feeble swing that time, it's 0 and 1. Fouled off. Hit softly on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. Striding in for the Indians, Roberto Perez as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Roberto Perez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. 
Fastball just a bit low here. He's behind 2 0 now. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate now, Jose Ramirez. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Garcia onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now at the plate, Oscar Mercado. One run in and one gone so far in the center. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now that not good stop. Francisco Lindor. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He grounds it sharply to third. To second for one. Throw back to Abreu. They get them both, and the side is retired. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yohan Moncada. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. High chopper towards first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in, Jose Abreu looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And that misses for ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Count now a ball and a strike. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Mercado is there, two gone. So digging in now, here's Monty Grandal. A base hit in his first trip. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his bat and gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Now batting, the designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the center fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Bottom of the inning now. Striding forward now is the DH, Fran Moraes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, pretty deflating at bat right there, Matty. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull a trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. First pitch of the at-bat. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. The right field. Striding into the box, Jordan Luplo. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today. 
but they got to change their M.O. if they're going to compete in this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Jimenez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Ready now for the White Sox. Elo Jimenez. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. The pitch. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. So striding in, Nomar Mazzara. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And there are two away now. Ready now, Luis Robert. He reached on a single in his first try. Robert. And it's fouled away. The windup and the 0 1. Hit to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready for another chance? Domingo Santana. He'll begin things here against Dallas Keuchel. No big go. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Popped him up. Grandal is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping no into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar. First pitch coming. Here it is. Liner towards second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. The catcher, number 55. Right Standing in now, Roberto Perez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And another foul ball. One run, five hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Riding in once again, Jose Ramirez. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Throw over to first. A runner on first with two away. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Here now the 2-2. Runners on the move for second. 
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Two out with the man at first. Runner. He's running again. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Here's the payoff pitch. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. It's ball four. At the plate, Oscar Mercado. A hit and two tries for him so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is into right field, the base hit. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And the runner from second is in to score. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. And he'll get in there safely. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 0 1 pitch. Three runs already home here. Shoots this one over to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Now a 5 0 lead. So now Carlos Santana, as the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Keiko pauses. Here's the 1 0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Now back, right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Into the box now, Jordan Luplo, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. It might be time for this guy to start mixing his pitches up a little bit better. He's pitching poorly, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage at over 70%. This batting, this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Lazar is on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So striding forward now, Leury Garcia. So far, over. Oh. 
one with a flyout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now batting the shortstop, Tim. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Hernandez at second to Santana to get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Johan Moncada. First offering on its way. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through at one strike. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Fielded cleanly and they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Now back, the first base. Jose. So here's Jose Abreu. Now Abreu connects deep to left. A ball that's carrying. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. On the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Domingo Santana. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. No left fielder. Domingo. Zach Birdie enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the White Sox. Number 62. Zach Birdie. First pitch of the at bat, and this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. A ball and a strike. This is line to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. The batter, number seven. Second baseman, James Hernandez. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Fastball called for strike two. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Nobody out, runner on first. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Stepping in, Roberto Perez. He flew out in his last at bat. Roberto. Here comes the first pitch. One out. Runners on first with one down.
and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to take it is Abreu, and that's out number two. Now back, now back to the top the of the lineup, thing. stepping in, Jose Ramirez. And that diamond oh, rating on his man. card isn't just for show. It'd be tough to argue he's anything but one of the game's best players. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A runner on first with two away. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now it'll be the four hole hitter Yasmani Grandal. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, and it's yeah. just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. The batter. So to the plate is the White Sox Edwin. DH. Edwin Encarnacion. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw on to first will take care of Encarnacion for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Emo Jimenez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And a ball 1-0. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat, sitting with a 2-0 count. The count now at 2-1. and one. Just a tick behind for a strike. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Stepping into the box, Oscar Mercado is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. The set and the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. One for two with a triple so far in this one. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back, the designated hitter, Rodney. In now, Fran Moraes. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Fly ball out toward left center field. Robert is there to take it and that's the second out of the inning. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. And he fouls this one off. The 
the 0 and 1 delivery a swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 two out here and a runner at second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. And that just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. Digging in now, Nomar Mazzara. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch coming, here it is. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mercado is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in once again, Luis Robert, one for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Hit to short. On to first, and there were two down. Now in the box, Leori Garcia. He's working on a one for two game so far. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he popped him up. Hernandez has a play. And that ends the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side. But they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. A ball and no strikes. Santana in front with a 2 and 0 count. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. The tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. Up next for Cleveland, the right field, Jordan Luthor. Your attention, please. Game hitting for the Indians, number 30, Tyler Nightwing. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Jimenez. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. In now for Cleveland, Domingo Santana. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez popped him up. Grandal is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So stepping in, Roberto Perez. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And a 
to check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. The 0 2 pitch. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Here's the one and two. No, that's down. Two out with the man at first. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Santana blows through the stop sign, headed for home. The tag from Grandal, and they get him at home plate. Tim Anderson. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in, Yohan Moncada. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Nick Wooden's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. The 1-1 home. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. Line towards center field. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. A 6-0 shutout. 